In this movie, we're going to discuss some remaining field options. In Crystal, your field options are varied, numerous, and probably a little bit of overkill. However, they wanted to make every option available, and that's what they give you. Using our Report 2 in our Design view, let's go ahead and click on the Group 1 Name field. Right-click, and let's format this field. We want to go to the Common tab so we can explore some of the options we've kind of breezed over up to this point. Something that may come in handy for you is the ability to rotate text. For example, if I choose 90 and press OK, notice how my Group 1 field seems to have uh, disappeared a little bit. Let's go ahead and increase this section and go ahead and click on that field and using the guide boxes we're going to put one in the corner when it makes the diagonal opposite pointing arrow and click and hold the mouse button down. This allows us to adjust this field like so. As you can see we've now rotated the text and if we click on preview it is now instead of being left to right is now up and down. Again this is just one of the formatting options you can have for these fields. You can pretty much rotate any field that you pull into your report. It just depends what you're looking to do. Another option that's available to you is the Highlight Expert. The Highlighting Expert is really useful if you're trying to create conditions where you need the format to be different to draw attention to it or to change. For example, I've highlighted my field. I can press New and I say the value of this field, this field meaning of course the field I've just highlighted, you also have the options of all the other fields sitting in there, but this field is usually works pretty good because you can highlight it and just go to, and I can say is equal to, as well as not equal to, less than, greater than, is between, etc. In this case, we're going to say equal to, and I'm going to say east. And then you get down and say my font style. In this case, I'm going to choose italic. And my default color, instead of choosing default, I'm going to choose a nice red. And instead of the default color in the background, I'm going to choose a nice maroon. This report will not be winning any design awards, but for illustrative purposes, it serves rather nicely. Notice, we do have the ability to choose more options. Let's go ahead and press OK. Notice in the preview tab, east now comes formatted like this because we define that condition to say, hey, when it's east, apply the following format conditions. Now if I click on West, West defaults to the one we chose to begin with. This is the conditional formatting that Crystal allows virtually for every field you have, and it can come in handy. If I right click on West and Highlight Expert, notice this field of course already has one condition associated to it, and I can choose to add as many as I see fit. One word of caution, the more conditions you have, the harder it is to maintain. This is a manual effort, meaning that every time something's added or changed, you have to go in and add a condition if that's what you want. In this case, let's just do a quick one. When it's equal to West, we'll go ahead and choose a different color setup. We'll call this white. You can also choose a custom color you see fit. And this time, we're going to call it black. And the border style we'll leave alone. Go ahead and press OK. Now my West appears here, and if I use my guide and click on East, my east appears as such because those are the conditions we have defined. Crystal allows, in some cases, a little bit of overkill, but it's nice to know you have these options available to you. 